This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. So normally, on Much Brew, we're playing decks from the instant deck tech series but this week we are breaking it up a bit m19 is here and we're playing one of the modern decks i am most excited about now that we have m19 cards in the format and that is bant spirit so spirits got a massive boost of power in m19 with the new lord supreme phantom so there's a few different options you can be bant spirits you can be esper spirits maybe even blue white spirits so i'm definitely interested in trying out all of those different versions of spirits because it's a really fun tribe this build is not at all budget friendly but it can be budget friendly so i wouldn't be surprised if we tried a budget build as well in the future but i'm excited for this one spirits in modern so a quick reminder before we break down bant spirits for m19 modern if you enjoy this deck and you enjoy much of brew in general it would be amazing of you if you could take a second and click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen it's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Bant Spirit, starting with the big new addition to the deck, Supreme Phantom. So Supreme Phantom is not just a lord, but it is a very strong lord. Not only is it a two mana lord, but it's also flying. A one three fire for two mana gives all of our other spirits plus one plus one. And the reason that Supreme Phantom is so important is it gives our deck this redundancy of lords. If you look at decks like Merfolk that are some of the best tribal decks in the format, one of those things those decks normally have is several lords and before supreme phantom we only had drug skull captain and drug skull captain is a great lord it's three mana but giving everything hexproof along with plus one plus one really big deal but now with supreme phantom joining drug skull captain we have a lot of lords and lords in spirit are kind of scarier than lords in other decks because spirits naturally have flying so they have a built-in evasion like we see with merfolk they go out of their way to try to make their creatures evasive by turning a land into an island so their island walks lords make their things unblockable spirits don't have to go through that trouble like they just naturally have evasion so unless our opponent happens to have flyers which isn't super common in modern all of our stuff is unblockable anyway so supreme phantom starts off the lord curve at two mana drug skull captain not only pumps the team but gives them hexproof and then phantasmal image it's more than just a lord but often we're trying to like copy a drug skull captain which gives us the hexproof lock of the drug skull captains themselves being hexproof and double pumping our team and just closing out the game really really quickly so a ton of lords one of the sweet new reasons that spirits has so much potential in modern otherwise the other big advantage of spirits is they're kind of like naturally a hate bear style deck a lot of their creatures they are just random beaters they also have abilities that are really annoying and powerful so mausoleum wonder kind of a force spike for spells on a stick we can sack it counter non-creature spells unless our opponent pays equal to mausoleum wonder's power which is one man at first but once we get lords on the battlefield it kind of just becomes a hard counter for spells like a negate that's sitting out there beating down every turn and then eventually countering a combo piece or something spell queller comes down just exile something for converted mana cost or less really helpful again Against Wrath, it gets Supreme Verdict, even though it's uncounterable, settle the wreckages, and just a lot of stuff in modern is four mana or less. So it's kind of a hard counter spell while it's on the battlefield. Then we give it hexproof with Drog Skull Captain so it doesn't die. Very, very strong in the deck. Otherwise, Rattle Chains and Self of Spirit give us more ways to protect our creatures. So along with having this fast, evasive clock, our creatures are hard to deal with. We have Hexproof sometimes from Drog Skull Captain. We have Spell Queller and Mausoleum Wander to counter stuff. Then we have Rattle Chains to just flash in and give a Spirit Hexproof to fizzle a target or removal spell. Also, giving all of our Spirits Flash is really nice. We can just kind of leave up our mana, wait till our opponent goes Shields down, Flash in some stuff. Selfless Spirit, really good at fizzling Wrath, or if we happen to get into some weird combat scenario where our opponent's attacking us, we can block and sack and kill a bunch of things. Otherwise, we have Birds of Paradise, Noble Hierarch, just to speed up the deck a little bit, help us play our expensive spirits a little bit faster, get down our three drops on turn two, and our four drop, Collected Company, on turn three. Collected Company is so good in this deck. It has to be one of the better Collected Company decks, because not only are we hitting Lords a lot of the time, but we're hitting things like 
like Spell Queller to counter a spell. We're hitting some sweet sideboard cards that are good in specific matchups. We're hitting Rattle Chains to protect something from removal. So we're getting all these sweet Enter the Battlefield triggers along with just massive flyers to keep killing our opponent. And then we have, to round out the non-land cards in the main deck, Path to Exile, just super straightforward simple removal spell. Gets rid of anything for one mana, takes care of any flyers our opponent might have to block us, or if we're under pressure from Big Tarmogoy for some other big threat, we can just get it off the table nice and cleanly Why we're beating down with our spirits. Mana base, we got a bunch of special lands. Horizon Canopy can draw us a card if we run out of action. Township to make our spirits even bigger. Cavern, just a one-of, but fixes our mana. Also lets us get our stuff through counter spells. Some fetch lands, some shock lands, some basic lands, a couple of botanical sanctums. In the sideboard, we get more spirits. Kataki's War Wage is our spirit for affinity primarily, but any artifact based deck, just taxing artifacts by making the opponent pay each turn, can hit it with our collected companies, and it grows and is protected by other spirits. Cura gives us more protection against removal heavy decks, basically making our opponent spend two removal spells to kill a single creature. Remorseful Cleric, spirit that also takes out great. Graveyards, if you run into decks like Dredge or Living End, can always find it with Collected Company. Rest in peace, more Graveyard Hate. Then we have some non-spirits for combo decks in specific. Thalia, just to make spells more expensive. While our clock is fast, our clock, if we don't draw enough disruption, is not just fast enough to race a deck like Storm, but having something like Thalia makes it much, much easier to just slow down the deck by a turn or two while we're beating down. Vindelia click, tag our opponent's hand, worship to just jank out decks that don't have an answer. Then we have some stuff for aggro. Settle the Wreckage is a sweeper, engineered explosive, kind of a sleeper in its own way. Ceremonious rejection for decks like Tron and Eldrazi. Gideon's mostly for control as a resilient threat, and that is Bant Spirits for Modern, and that is our Much Brew deck for this week. So, I'm excited for this one. Spirits is a really fun tribe. We've played them in the past on Budget Magic, and I'm excited to see just how good Supreme Phantom is. It looks like it should be insane, and maybe be enough to push Spirits from like a Tier 3 deck up to Tier 2, or maybe even Tier 1. Like, they have so many good options now, with so many annoying creatures, so many lords, so much protection, so I think this deck's gonna be sweet. I'm definitely excited to test it out. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get to the gameplay so you can see how it works. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. All right, much brew about nothing time. This week we are playing some M19 in modern. We are playing Bant Spirits featuring Supreme Phantom in Modern, and uh, I'm kind of excited for this. Out of all the modern decks, I think that Spirits is the one that benefits the most from M19. And we get to play first. Let's see what our hand looks like. Ooh, speaking of Supreme Phantom, this hand's pretty great. Turn one birds, turn two spell queller, hopefully draw land for turn three collected company. Good game, well played opponent whatever you're doing over there apart from mulliganing so botanical sanctum and birds of paradise pass the turn opponent swamp and passes well play misty rainforest <clears throat> hmm supreme phantom plus noble high arc maximizes our odds of collected company i think we got a uh, yeah, we gotta run stuff out. Crack Misty. Grab a hollowed fountain. Play Noble High Arc. Play our Zero Spirit Supreme Phantom. Pass the turn. So this means we are shields down, but it means if our mana dorks live, we get to collected company, even if we don't draw land. Swamp Swamp. All right. Opponent passes. Well, get in with Supreme Phantom. Now I feel like we're in pretty good shape. So hit our opponent for two and pass the turn. Swamp number three. Oh, it's our uh, our mono black devotion deck. Well, I guess we just spell queller. Take the guaranteed counter. So get rid of Night Vale. Untap. Play the planes. Get in with Spell Queller. Hit our opponent down to 14. Pass the turn. 
now we can collected company and potentially even hit like a phantasmal image to copy spell queller obliterator yeah let's just let that resolve i don't actually think we want to spell queller that with two pass in hand like i think if we hit a spell queller we would probably just choose no so let's collected company well supreme phantom selfless spirit seems reasonable oh god do we go for the win i think we do four eight nine ten eleven twelve if we hit a lord or a phantasmal image we win eh that's a lord and i think i think that just does it that deck holy that's turn five look at that board of flyers hexproof flyers uh that went pretty pretty well for us i think we bring in the worship i don't think our opponent's deck has a way to beat worship and then eh, do we want to do anything else no thalia's no rest in peace kira's probably fine unsure what we would cut for it though maybe we just go like up worship down phantasmal limit up kira down phantasmal image try it like that uh, all right well can't keep the zero lander i guess we keep this selfless spirit i think we're going bottom i think we want something more impactful like a collected company to dig out from this mulligan opponent plays a swamp well, uh, Selfless Spirit remains on the top of our deck. Birds of Paradise go. Swamp for our opponent. Fatal pushes our birds. Yep. And passes. Well, Flooded Strand, crack it. Grab a Hollowed Fountain. And run out Selfless Spirit. Play Selfless Spirit past the turn little worried about a a sweeper like drown in sorrow for exian arena gonna start drawing our opponent some cards opponent passes i'll play flooded strand crack flooded strand grab an island play supreme phantom play mausoleum wander get in with selfless spirit so Mausoleum Wanderer should be able to protect us from a Drown in Sorrow. And then Kira should come down to shut out targeted removal. That said, something like Obliterator into Grey Merchant. Good chance that that beats us. Drown in Sorrow. Yep, well, we got a, we got a Mausoleum Wanderer. Opponent passes. Ew. Well, go attacking. Hit our opponent for five. Play Hollowed Fountain, pass the turn. Leave up our Spell Queller. Opponent draws, down to 11. It looks like we're doing very well. Gray Merchant really can turn the corner quickly, though. Messenger. Yeah, we're going to Queller that. Just to keep mana symbols off the battlefield. Uh, all right. Brain Maggot can take our Kira. Three, six, seven. <sighs> All right, let's see what we draw. A Lord is not quite lethal. Collected Company. Collected Company into Double Lord. That wins us the game. Well, play Phantom. Go attacking. Oh, this this is lethal. Ten plus one from Frexine Arena. Just kidding. Just kidding. I was not taking into account the arena damage and. I think that, uh, and I think that that does it. Unless our opponent has instant speed life gain. And our opponent scoops it up. All right. Spirits, uh, so far so good against Obliterator Devotion. Not bad, not bad. Oh, man, that Lord, that Lord is good. Lord is good. All right. Macha brew about nothing time. We are playing some more Bant Spirits, M19 Bant Spirits in Modern. And we got the Spirit Curve. Mausoleum Wander. Step one, into Rattle Chain, step two, into Drog Skull Captain, step three. Good game, well played. So, Flooded Strand, crack it. Grab an island, and Mausoleum Wander, pass the turn. Island for our opponent, and passes. Hmm. Well, Windswept Teeth, crack it. Grab a Plains, and let's just Supreme Phantom. 
Uh, opponent has spell snare. Opponent. Really? Really? Really, opponent? Really. Spell snare. Really. Plays an island. And it passes. Well, play Horizon Canopy. Get in with Mausoleum Wander. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. Opponent thinks twice? Huh. Well, let's just rattle chains right now. Giving all of our spirits flash seems good. Field of Ruin. So I'm assuming our opponent's playing some sort of, like, turn deck, would be my guess. Opponent passes. Flooded Strand. Opponent Vendillion clicks. Well, let's just Spell Queller it. Get rid of Click. Play Flooded Strand. Get in for four. Hit our bone to 14. Pass the turn. Celestial Colonnade. Well, Crack Flooded Strand. Grab a... Breeding Pool? Yeah, I'll take Breeding Pool. Tapped. Untap. Well, go attacking. I'm a little worried about a Wrath. We can put on a two-turn clock, but that's a two-turn clock that gets absolutely wrecked by... Supreme Verdict. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'd hit for ten? All right. Well, I guess we can try to hit for ten next turn. So pass the turn. Flashes back a thing twice. All right. Yep. Opponent untaps. Island. Well, let's draw a Skull Captain. Cryptic Command. So Mausoleum Wander resolves. Pumps Mausoleum Wander. Then we sack Mausoleum Wander. And Oppose scoops it up. Got him. We got him. The Tricky Spirits flashing in. Take it down, Control. Uh, okay. That went surprisingly well against the Control deck. As far as sideboards, opponent's very heavy blue. Like, Vendillion Click seems fine. Gideon's probably pretty good. Could bring in Thalia's. I don't know if it's worth it. Also, Graveyard Hate. Maybe something like Vendillion Click, Gideon. Remorseful Cleric over Phantasmal Image, Phantasmal Image, Birds of Paradise. Or maybe we just cut paths. We saw creatures, though. Maybe we cut some paths and bring in the Thalia's. Yeah, let's try it like that. That seems reasonable. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, we can cast stuff. Temple of Enlightenment. This is a unique blue-white control deck. Windswept Teeth, go. Tap land. Well, crack Windswept Teeth. Grab a Hollowed Fountain. Tapped. Play the planes. Um, we do need a land at some point. Yeah, let's pass. Field of Ruin. All right, let's rattle chains. Resolves. Untap. Well, flash in Selfless Spirit. Grab a forest. Would be a great turn to draw a land. There's a land. Ooh, now we have some options. Let's crack Flooded Strand. Grab an island. Run out Supreme Phantom. Hit our opponent for six. Or for... Hit our opponent for three. Pass the turn. Selfless Spirit's giving us Wrath Cover. Glacial Fortress. Jace, the Mind Sculptor. Well, it's a pretty temporary solution. Brainstorms with Jace. Passes. Oh, play Noble Hierarch. Play Thalia. Kill Jace. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. That's what our opponent was trying to do. All right. Uh, now we probably lose. Uh, that makes the, the bad Jace make a lot more sense. Search for his Kanta. Opponent passes. Gets an island. Now well, play Rattle Chains. Pass the turn. Oh, that Terminus is... That is brutal. Well, we know what our opponent's playing now. They're playing... They're playing Miracles. Mills a land. Plays a land. And passes. Well, we get a land. Get in with Rattle Chains. Man, I thought we had Wrath covered too, but Terminus is a unique Wrath. Pass the turn. Going to path our Rattle Chains. I think we're actually out of basics. Yep. Okay. Search for his Kanta, going to flip. And yeah, life is super bad. Opponent passing. Well, crack Misty. Grab a Hollowed Fountain. I mean, run out Collected Company. But this is the part of the game where our opponent's super far ahead. Wow. Not only is it a counter, but it's a dispel. All right, uh, pass the turn. All right, I mean, we got to go for it. Company number two. 
Oh my god almighty. Oh dear. Magic gods, displeased. Very displeased. Ugh. Our 32 creature deck and we get a single noble high arc. And we're getting pretty close to where we just concede. Honestly. Opponent finds a logic knot. There's not really any way we win from here. Well, get in for one. Play Mausoleum Wander. Play Remorseful Cleric. Opponent. Counters. Alright, pass the turn. Search for his Kanta to find some action. To fairy. Alright. And we're gonna we're gonna call it a day. We could wait another another 30 or 40 turns to officially lose, but our opponent has officially gained control of the game, and there's no way we can reassemble a win from there. So, uh, we don't have answers to Terminus. That's just not a thing we can beat. Maybe go down a path for a rest in peace? Alright, try it like that. Ah, oh, Terminus, Terminus, Terminus. We are in the play, which is good. Okay, I mean, this hand's fine. How do we want to do this? Well, Misty Rainforest, crack it. Get a Breeding Pool, untapped. Play Noble High Arc. Pass the turn. Tap land for our opponent. Uvendillion click. Interesting. Oh, play Flooded Strand. Crack it. Grab an Island. Play Mausoleum Wander. Play Selfless Spirit. Pass the turn. No Terminus yet. That's good news. Flooded Strand. Opponent. Passes. Oh, play Sanctum. Go attacking. Hit our opponent for three. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks. Down to 16. Okay. Hollowed Fountain tapped. No Terminus. Glacial Fortress. Opponent passes. Oh, play Flooded Strand. Play Mausoleum Wanderer. Attack for four. Opponent takes it. Pass the turn. Pass Selfless Spirit. Um, okay. Grab a forest. Planes for our opponent. Well, let's Vendillion click. Look at our opponent's hand. See what they see what they got. Pass Vendillion click. Okay. Grab a planes. At least we're getting the lands out of our deck. Teferi and two cryptics. Well, we're taking Teferi. Opponent's hand's not exciting. Hopefully we hit a spirit here. That's what we really need. Spirit collected company. Well, Mausoleum Wander, probably better known as technically a spirit. Hit our opponent for four. Pass the turn. Island. Opponent. Passing. All right, well, Spell Queller. I think we're a spirit away from winning. Pump, 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 exile. Supreme Phantom? Pony Ops, that's fine! Good game! Good game, Miracles! No Force of Wills in Modern! And Supreme Phantom showing its power, taking it down! Whew! Man, this deck, it's still going. It's still working. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are playing some Bant Spirits in Modern, and Sand looks pretty good. Double Supreme Phantom. Collected Company. Get to kick things off with a Noble High Arc. Uh, we'll just grab a Breeding Pool, play Noble High Arc, and pass the turn. See what our opponent's up to. Misty Rainforest, and passes. I'll play Flooded Strand. Crack Flooded Strand. Grab a Plains. Um, get in with Noble High Arc. Play Supreme Phantom. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks. Down to 18. What is our opponent playing? Hollowed Fountain Tapped. All right, could be like blue-white control, I guess. Jeskai control. Opponent passing. Opponent's passing. Well, get in with Supreme Phantom. Hit our opponent for two. Lightning Helix Supreme Phantom. I think we're actually going to path it. This probably is very odd, but let's path it. Get a land. Grab a island. Fizzle Lightning Helix. Play another Supreme Phantom. We could have Spell Quellered 
but there's a lot of risk of things going very wrong if we spell queller where we get like the chain reaction of kill spell queller lose something else opponent passes well windswept teeth get in with noble high arc pass the turn tap land for our opponent well let's crack i think we gotta fire off collected company grab a forest well i guess we can wait supreme phantom hmm play supreme phantom pass the turn opponent untaps arid mesa and passes well there's flooded strand get in with phantom opponent paths uh, no lands left to get i feel like maybe we could be playing this match tighter yeah no lands play drog skull captain opponent yeah i feel like we i'm not sure what we did wrong but i feel like there was something we could have done better along the way opponent gets a planes cryptics well crack we're very weak to a wrath here hollowed fountain untapped spell queller the cryptic pass the turn yeah a supreme verdict here is very very bad sacred foundry untapped opponent passes well play selfless spirit that's a pretty good one since it is an answer to a wrath logic not well let's go for it let's go for it come on collected company be good all right well lock them in lock them in cross our fingers that our opponent does not have a literal wrath i mean we have the hexproof triple lord lock no wrath no wrath no wrath no wrath come on pull scoops it up all right we got there no wrath no wrath who two drug skull captains is so good unless there's a wrath all right jess guy control so go down paths, go up Vendillion click, go up Gideon, go up Thalia's, and then go uh, down Phantasmal Images, up Rest in Peace Remorseful Cleric, and maybe we want Kira as well. How can we get Kira in here? Maybe we go down one birds. Hmm. Maybe we just go Rest in Peace and leave Remorseful Cleric. Yeah, let's try it like that. Try it like that. All right. I like this hand. Mausoleum Wander is very good. Selfless Spirit's good. Spell Queller's good. We have a lot of cards that are pretty good for this matchup. Misty, crack it. Grab a Hollowed Fountain, untapped. And Mausoleum Wander, pass the turn. Opponent cracks. We would like land number three. Ooh, untap land. All right, kills Mausoleum Wander, sure. Opponent, untapped Hollowed Fountain and searching for his kanta a windswept teeth crack it grab a breeding pool play self with spirit pass the turn search for his kanta search for his kanta is pretty bad for us leaves it on top field of ruin all right blows up our hollowed fountain kind of surprising main phase grab a plains gets a mountain and bolts well land please no well, let's Supreme Phantom. The lack of lands is going to be bad news. Bad, bad news. Especially with this as Kanta getting close to flipping. Opponent ops to the bottom. Steam vents untapped. Snapcaster for Bolt. Oh my god almighty. Opponent's almost out of cards, but the fact that they're going to flip this as Kanta makes that very deceiving. Well, play Thalia, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the big problem here is we're just so pinched on lands that I'm not sure we can... Uh, it's going to be very hard to stabilize with this amount of lands. And our opponent having infinite removal spells. Opponent. Passing. Well, get in with Thalia. Play Mausoleum Wander. We're actually locked out of playing this Rest in Peace, unfortunately. Opponent paths. Ugh. Yep bad bad news bad bad news pass the turn and now this kanta flips so our rest in peace suddenly is way worse way 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 worse well uh what can you do opponent gets in with snapcaster sure down to 12 passes now we're hitting our lands so get in with mausoleum wander hit our opponent down to 10 pass the turn 
Yeah, the lands just came too slow. If we could have got down the rest in peace to stop this as Kanta, I think we would have been okay. Opponent finds a supreme verdict. Opponent gets in with Snapcaster. Down to 10. Yep. Well, run out Spell Queller. Another Snapcaster for Lightning Bolt. Oh, uh, we really needed that rest in peace. Yep. Well, crack Misty. Get a Hollowed Fountain. Opponent passes. Well, collected company. Oh, oh my god, they got it all. They got it all in a half. Get in with Mausoleum Wander. Uh, dream dying, dream dying. Dream dying very quickly. Sack Mausoleum Wander. Yep, down to eight. Gets in, down to four. Well, collected company. And those, all of our good cards are in hand. Okay, pass the turn. Uh, that was a sad one. That was a pretty sad one. Opponent paths. Oh my god. And pass, alright. Well, we got stuck on lands. We still got game three to keep the dream alive. Still got, still got one more game. And let's try Cleric over Rest in Peace. Try like that. We are on the play for game three. Ooh. Well, I think we keep this because we have our one Cavern of Souls. And that seems pretty helpful against what our opponent's doing. Flooded Strand, go. That invalidates a lot of their deck until they find a Field of Ruins, but... Steam Vents, tapped. Well, crack Flooded Strand. Grab a Hollowed Fountain. Opponent passes. We'll play Cavern on Spirit. Pass the turn. Tap land for our opponent. Well, let's Rattle Chains. Untap. Sanctum. Get in with Rattle Chains. Pass the turn. Opponent ops. Hmm. Let's run out Vendillion Click. Not the most optimal timing, but it does avoid counters. Hmm. Bane Slayer. Can we beat a Bane Slayer? If we take Helix. It's either Bane Slayer or Helix. Both of those cards seem very good against us. And I don't know which is most troubling. Uh, we're taking Helix. Taking Helix, gonna try to win before Baneslayer comes down. Untap land. Opponent drew into a bolt. Wow. All right, opponent's draws were bolt, bolt. We draw land and, yeah, uh, probably, probably game now. Yup, yup, yup. Well, run out. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, those draws, those draws seal the deal. Well, Spell Queller, our opponent can just Snapcaster a Bolt. There's no, there's no good answers here. Play Horizon Canopy. Get in with Spell Queller. Opponent runs out a Vendillion Click. Targets us. We draw into more lands. Yeah, we don't have any way of beating a Baneslayer Angel, unfortunately. Pass the turn. Also, we're kind of ultra flood mode. So it seems like the 5-0 dream. Dying. Dying at the hands of Jeskai control. Well, yeah, grab a grab a random land. Sack Horizon Canopy. Oh dear. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? 11 out of our our 14 cards have been lands. Opponent drew another Vendillion click. Gonna take our Drog Skull Captain. I don't even know if they will. Like, I'm pretty sure we're just hard locked out of playing Magic. Into a Spell Queller. Opponent. So what combination of draws get us in this game? It's probably like four collected companies in our... Oh my god. Well, thankfully our opponent is not great at casting Baneslayer Angels. If they were, we would be in trouble. Instead, they are on the activating colonnade plan. Well, run out Spell Queller. I'm pretty sure this is all just a losing battle. Hollowed Fountain, tapped. Get in with Spell Queller. Because the Baneslayer is still coming. Even with our opponent uh, misclicking there. Down to 16, pass the turn. Opponent. Gonna get in with Vanillion Click. Yeah. Down to 11. 
This time, correctly cast Bane Slayer. Well, play Drog Skull Captain. Breeding Pool, pass the turn. Opponent. Even if we figure out a way to fight through Bane Slayer, we st they still have Supreme Verdict in hand. Well, let's rattle chains. Save Drog Skull Captain. Well, come on. I think it's got to be like Collected Company into Double Lord. I think that's our one our one semi-realistic chance. Gets in. I'm not even sure that's realistic, but that's I think that's our only way that we're not just literally done. Gets in with Bane Slayer. Double Lord would let Spell Queller block Bane Slayer. Hollowed Fountain tapped. Well, another Drog Skull. It's good. Our deck is doing what it's trying to do. But the Bane Slayer is just still unbeatable. Maybe we should have taken it. Maybe that's the moral of the story. Although, oh man, with the amount of lands that we drew, Helix, Snapcaster Helix is pretty much just as devastating. I mean, block, block. We're dead to a bolt. That, I mean, we can't play around it. Maybe our opponent's just going to Wrath here and then try to win with Colonnade. Yup. All right. <laughs> well, play Mausoleum Wander. Pass the turn. Misty Rainforest. Cracks it. All the way down to 25. Steam Vents untapped. Teferi. Okay. I mean, I guess we're just dead in, like, an infinite number of ways here. Draws a card. Untaps. Yeah. We're just going to call it a day. Ah, that was a rough one. That was a rough one. All right. All right, all right. Hmm. Well, maybe we should have taken the Bane Slayer. All right. Ma to brew about nothing time. We are playing some Bant Spirits, and we're going to try this. This hand is... Oh, man. Even if we had a green source instead of a hollow fountain, this hand would be good. As it is, the hand is the hand is powerful. We do have stuff we can do with one mana. Land of War Elves. But we really do need to draw a land. Ugh. No, another Noble Hierarch. Well, Hollowed Fountain, Run Out, Mausoleum Wander. Pass the turn. Passing in Elves isn't all that helpful. Ooh. Ooh, green white elves. Interesting. Elvish Arch Druid. Well, we're gonna have to path that. Hopefully we draw land to play something else too. No. Well, alright. Path Arch Druid. Don't really wanna uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's better to wait to upkeep, but we're giving our opponent two mana they can use for Court of Calling or something. If we don't draw land, we're going to run into some troubles. Mystic. Another lord. Azuri. Well, now we got to kill Azuri. Land. All right, there's a land. That's good. That's very good. So now we get to play Noble High Arc. Get in with Mausoleum Wander. Um, yeah, let's... Let's path now. Well, we've killed our opponent's two best things. They're always like one collected company away from exploding. Ew. Uh, is this cord for another lord? Cord X2. Interesting. I wonder if it's the new two mana lord. What two drop do you get? The traditional powerful lords are three mana. So maybe, I don't know. Maybe this Mausoleum Wander is actually keeping us alive here. All right, Dwinian's Elite. So opponents just, oh, do they have Heritage Druid in something? All right, Elvish Mystic. Opponents just going wide. Opponent passes. Well, play Supreme Phantom. Pump. Play Mausoleum Wander. Pump. Get in for five. I mean, our clock's not bad, but our opponent's going pretty wide with their elves. Hit our opponent. Down to 12. Pass the turn. Opponent. 
Uh, please not. Not more Azuris. We can kind of keep Cord off the table with Mausoleum Wanders. Collected Company's harder. In theory, we can double sack, but then we don't have a clock. So we might have to let a Collected Company resolve, whether we actually want to or not. Pwn's only got two cards in hand. All right, Dwinian's Elite, one card in hand. Oh, come on, not a Lord. Not a Lord. Anything but that. Uh-oh. Last card. Uh, Cord X3. Uh, I guess we have to double sack. Yeah. I don't like this, but we'll see. We'll see. We're losing a lot of our clock, but if we let our, our opponent get an Azuri there, we just straight up lose. Opponent passes. We still, we might be able to win the race. Ooh, Sanctum is sweet. So, Phantasmal Image. Copy Supreme Phantom. Get in with Supreme Phantom. Hit our opponent. Down to nine. Pass the turn. I think we need one more Lord to have lethal next turn. Opponent. Passes. Well, I mean, run in Rattle Chains. Come on. Lord. Lord off the top. Or Collected Company. Wow! Pwn scoops it up! They were not... I don't think they were dead. We only had eight points of damage. We would have drawn a blank into a Collected Company. All right. Well, two pass. Apparently good against elves. What do we have in the sideboard for elves? Engineered explosives. Settle the wreckage. And probably worship, I guess. Go down two phantasmal images and a selfless spirit. Our opponent shouldn't have too much removal, so selfless spirit's kind of meh. We could bring in, like, Vendillion Click, I guess, to try to get a collected company or something out of hand. It's kind of slow, though. Our opponent might not predict worship and bring in an answer. I'm sure they have answers in their deck, but we might be able to steal a game with it. Um, do we want Vendillion Click? It would probably be over Selfless Spirit. I mean, I guess Selfless Spirit is fine as a way just to, like, block and keep our team alive. Ugh. Hand has so many lords, but so little mana. Gonna have to mulligan. All right, this hand is not nearly as aggressive, but double path is reasonable against elves. Selfless spirit. Yeah, let's go bottom. I think we want something more impactful. Razor Verge Thicket for our opponent. And Mystic. Ooh, Collected Company is more impactful. Breeding Pool untapped. Noblest of High Arcs. Pass the turn. Unclaimed territory. Opponent. Looks like a lord. Archdruid. Yep. Sure... Opponent passes. Oh, play Flooded Strand. Crack Flooded Strand. Grab a... Hmm. Grab a Plains. Play Mausoleum Wander. Play Mausoleum Wander. Path the Lord. And now we're mostly just hoping for a land. If we can draw a land and Collected Company, that's pretty big game. We can also keep our opponent off their Collected Companies, potentially. Or at least off Court of Calling. Opponent cracks. And... Passes? That's good. Land? Well, let's keep playing Mausoleum Wanders. Opponent's never resolving their <laughs> Collected Company. Actually, they probably are, because we, we can't really afford to sack all of our Mausoleum Wanders. Opponent takes it. Down to 15. Pass. E old turn. Another Mystic. The elf deck's a little sad without lords. Oh, man. Come on, land for Coco. Oh, these... We could just win the game, actually. Land for Coco into, like, Lord, Lord, I think is just... Is just lethal. Cordex 2. Sure. We'll let that go. Gets... Ooh, Devoted Druid. Well, we have a path in case they draw the combo. Well, I like Supreme Phantom. Play Supreme Phantom. It's not quite lethal, but... It hits our opponent for a lot, and it makes these Mausoleum Wanders into even harder counter spells. Four non, non-creatures, but still. All right, what do you got, opponent? Vizia, well, Path the Voted Druid. And that might just do it. I don't know if our opponent could really win here anyway. Yeah, opponent scoops it up. All right, that went pretty well. They only had one card in hand, so there was a pretty good chance that we we were good there anyway, but we'll take it, we'll take it. Taking down elves, best spirits. It seems like a pretty reasonable deck, I have to say. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are playing some 
Bant Spirits in Modern, and this hand looks fine. I mean, we got birds on turn one, some decent spirits. We'll keep it. Verdant Catacombs for our opponent. And pass. Well, Flooded Strand, crack it. Grab a Breeding Pool. Untapped. And Bird's Paradise. Ship the turn. Pony cracks. You're gonna Fatal Push our birds? That would be annoying. Especially since we have our basic planes, so we can't, like, double Mausoleum Wander next turn. Oh, Breeding Pool. Interesting. Untapped. Swamp. Huh. Some kind of Salti deck? Well, play Botanical Sanctum. Play Mausoleum Wander. Pass the turn. Fatal push. Well, all right, let's rattle chains. To save Mausoleum Wander, Watery Grave for our opponent. Untap down to 17. Okay. And Tireless Tracker. That's pretty good news for us. Because now we get to Mausoleum Wander. Play the planes. Play Drog Skull Captain. Pump the dorks and hit our opponent for a bunch hit our opponent for seven in the air and this is where the spirit deck is super powerful like we have a big team of flyers we have protection we have hex proof this is where the deck is really good opponent fetch land gets a clue males from pulse well i mean second mausoleum wander and opponent scoops it up cannot get through the layers of spirit protection Ah, uh, that's when the deck is awesome. That is when the deck is super awesome. So as far as sideboarding, I'm not especially sure what our opponent's doing. Just like Saltai stuff. We probably want like Kira over Phantasmal Image. I don't even know. Maybe Vendillion Click over Phantasmal Image and just run it like that. And all right. I mean, we got a spirit curve. Polluted Delta for our opponent. And passes. Uh, let's island. Mausoleum Wander. Pass the turn. Pony cracks. Breeding pool. Untapped. Thought scours. All right, that's fine. Maybe we should be bringing in graveyard hate. Collective brutality. All right. So, Mausoleum Wander down. Play the planes. Pass the turn. Tap land for our opponent. And passes. Oh. Inquisition. Well, flash and rattle chains. Our hand's a little action light now. Gonna need a collective company at some point. Take Spell Queller. More paths. Well, play Flooded Strand. Get in with rattle chains. Pass the turn. Come on, Cocos! Actually, we not only do we need Collected Company, but we need it to actually be good. We need to, to break our dry spell with Collected Company luck. Flooded Strand, grab a Temple Garden, I guess. Doesn't especially matter, except for green. Opponent passes. Fatal pushes on our upkeep. All right. Uh, now we draw Kira. Well, play Cavern on Spirit. Play Kira. Pass the turn. Opponent gets in with Goyf. Well, let's pass it. Come on, collected company. More Goyfs. Watery Grave tapped. Coco. That's a Coco. So get in with Kira. Hollowed Fountain untapped. Pass the turn. Opponent goes attacking. Well, path the Goyf. Grabs an island. Well, I mean, we're going to go for it. In theory, our opponent could have counters, I guess. I have no idea what their deck is. Like, it's hard to know what's in their deck. Ew. I think we just go Supreme Phantom Selfless Spirit. I mean, I'm assuming their deck's just a pile of value. Snapcaster, sure. Four Thought Scour. Our team is pretty indestructible at the moment. Opponent Thought Scours. A Lord or a Collected Company would be super sweet. Uh, okay. Well, uh, run it back. Run it back. Part two. The Deuce. <laughs> collected Company. Ugh. All right. That one was not as good. Our Collected Company... Our Collected Company luck is still only mediocre. Get in. 
an opponent. Little salty thing about lucky top decking and scoops it up. All right, so that's Pan Spirits. Uh, technically, we give the kids a little snack. Those Jeskai control matches in the middle, not the most fun I've ever had playing Magic. Although, in defense, eh, a little bit, a little bit unlucky with uh, some of our Coco hits, but that does feel like a tough matchup. We do get to crack a treasure chest, though, so let's, uh, let's crack it open. Crack open our single treasure chest. I don't know. By the time you're seeing this, I might actually replace one of the Jeskai control matches because people don't like Jeskai control matches. But if you're watching this, undeniable proof, regardless of what uh, what shows up in the videos, 3-2 uh, in our league, one treasure chest. So let's crack it open. See what we get. Come on. Come on, Moto. Be good. Uh, literally being trolled. Troll Ascetic. Troll Ascetic's a cool card. It is not worth anything. I think back in Mirrodin, it was worth a lot, but... Mirrodin was 15 years ago. Times have changed. Times have changed. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, Bass Spirits was sweet. And uh, yeah, be back in a bit to break it down in the wrap-up. So what do we learn this week about Banned Spirits in Modern and the deck was pretty sweet. So we played a league, mostly. So we played a league, ended up going three and two and winning one treasure chest. So the kids got a little snack. But uh, yeah, so we went three and two. However, we had some weird matchups where in the middle of our league, we played blue eye control, Jeskai control, Jeskai control. And we lost both times to Jeskai control. But I didn't really want to just show mono control matchups uh, for the league, especially since it was two of the exact same Jeskai control decks in a row. So that's how we got the elf deck instead. We played a two-player queue against elves, ended up winning that. So overall, League was three and two, four and two overall, counting our win against elves. And the deck, I was pretty impressed with it. We have a lot of power. Supreme Phantom is very, very good. Like, if there's one takeaway from the deck, Supreme Phantom, definitely all it's cracked up to be. Coming down, pumping the team, being only two mana, giving more lords is just very strong. And we were able to win some games where we didn't really do anything crazy, where we just play, like, some Mausoleum Wanderers, some random spirits, play some Supreme Phantoms, and we're attacking in the air for such a fast clock. Even something like Mausoleum Wander on turn one, Supreme Phantom on turn two, pumps Mausoleum Wander, attack for three. That's a very aggressive start, especially when you consider a lot of decks just can't block what we're doing because all of our stuff has flying. So I feel like this build is actually pretty good from a uh, Hellcat MTG who's been working on spirits for a long time. So I think the build is good. I don't have any major criticisms or changes as far as like, okay, that shouldn't be there. That should be there. I feel like if you want to play Bant Spirits, this is the list I would start with. It ran well. It played well. It is competitive. The thing I'm interested in as well is is trying some different builds of spirits. So you can go into Esper, you lose Collected Company in the Mana Dorks, you gain Lingering Souls, maybe some Thought Seizes or Fatal Pushes. So I think there's some potential there. Lingering Souls in specific, very, very scary when you have Supreme Phantom and Drog Scroll Captain, because that's just so many spirit bodies on the battlefield for such a low cost. Could also go straight like blue-white token-y spirits, where you're playing maybe Spectral Procession and Lingering Souls, so I guess you're still kind of Esper. But just things that put up bunch of spirits on the battlefield really quickly, less disruptive, more like a token style deck. Maybe you throw an intangible virtue to go with Supreme Phantom, to go with Drog Skull Captain, and just go all out. I'm going to make as many flying spirits as possible, make them as big as possible, kill you as quickly as possible. So I think this deck is a great version of Bant Spirits, but I'm still definitely interested in trying the other builds as well, because I think they all have potential. Supreme Phantom is just that good and that sweet in the deck. So Anyway, that's been our Much Approved for this week. Bant Spirits for Modern. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.